Hey everybody, Ruler of Nerds here, and we are going to continue where we left off, which I think was here. Lord, I for actually forgot where we were and what we were doing, but um, yeah. There we go. Oh yes, we were in here and we were looking for a way out, and we don't want to go out there apparently for some reason. I've forgotten everything. <laughs> Wait, can I- Yes, I can switch. I don't think I could do much though. Move? You try, but it's too heavy. Sloth that is working on it. But at the rate he's going, it might be old age that does you in. Okay then. Look. You've been pinned by the ruins of your destroyed Gander's Priest Price. You think you can't really see all that well at the moment. Luckily, it seems your body shielded your tablet from most of the rubble. Hooray! Ow! Ah! Uh, ouch! Ouch! <laughs> from the powerless depths of your crumbled prison, you take solace in the mercy that at least there is no clog junk in here with you. What? I, I guess there's literally nothing. Oh wait, can you? You try removing the rocks with the power of mind, but your mind is not very powerful. But I don't understand what I should be doing then. Except for, like, trying to get back in here and get the cube. Oh hey, the tablet's doing a thing again. Okay, I see what I'm supposed to be doing now. What? Got that wrong. Uh, hey Xerox, you there? Wait, okay, voice. Hey Xerox, you there? Can't really go anywhere else with the debris slowly crushing my body. <laughs> Oof, right, sorry. It's okay. Wait, I forgot what his voice was. Eh. It doesn't sound okay. I'll be there soon. Try to move around a lot. I'll be there soon. I'll be there soon. Try to hang in there. Okay, I'll try. No, I don't think that was it either. I'm going to, uh, pass out a little now. Wait, real quick. I'm having trouble with this, uh, security puzzle, you call it? I solved the one in the basement, no sweat, but this one is, seems kind of different. Security puzzle? Oh no, it froze. Okay, there we go. Do you mean the serpent rom that Tetrarch Demek rigged up in his power hexagrid? I wouldn't have used those words, but if you think that's what I'm talking about, it probably is. There's another one? A different one? I think so. The start screen is different anyway. And the power is still on, so I don't know what it would be connected to. His hive security, probably. He's always tinkering with it to make it more complex. Yeah, the basement one in, the one in the basement, I only had to eat the letters. But now they're different? There's different letters to eat, but I don't know what letters to eat, if that makes sense. It's probably XXXXXXX. Oh, really? Wait, no. Sorry, I'm- Wait, wait, no. Sorry, I meant- XXXX. It's not working. Yeah, I got it. No, that's not it. What? I'm- Trying- I'm typing it in, but it keeps changing it into a bunch of X's. Maybe it's a new security software I installed? It must stop me from posting my password to the chat. Really? Let me try. Miss Taylor Thompson, 80. Can you see that? Miss Taylor Thompson, 80? OMG. What's that? No. 
You told me it would turn into X symbols. Well, you're using the Tetrax tablet. It wouldn't know your password. I can't believe I did that. Sorry I'm going home. I can never show my face on this planet again. Huh? Miss Dillard Thompson 80 seems like a password. I'd never guess that. You must be really smart, Jelly. No, apparently I'm super stupid. What's so embarrassing about it? Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> it's just... Well, I guess it's the name of a boy I like. Really? Haha, <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> don't tell anyone, but that's what my password is too. Oh? Do you have, like, a girl you like? No, it's a boy. Oh, for some reason I thought you were a boy all this time. I am. <laughs> oh. Huh. So, um, not to rush you or anything, but I'm still dying in rocks. But the security console... Yeah... About that... Can you, like, give me a hint? It's the name of our band, but there's a couple of different ways to spell it. That's pretty weird. Yeah, we keep going back and forth between N and N. I actually don't know which one it is right now. Well, I'll scout about around and see if I can find something. He's bound to have written it down somewhere or something, right? Um, I hope so. I'm gonna conserve my strike a little bit, maybe. Getting kinda dead. Hang in there. I'll be there as soon as I can. Finally, 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 oh my god, and I didn't even realize that the thing, the password was up in the corner until just a little bit ago, and oh my god, it was, ugh, that was, I have had more fun in my life watching paint dry, I was so, oh, oh, oh no. That was a bad choice. Well, I figured out the game, but the monster chased me into a... Uh... I'm fairly confident this is a kitchen. It's really gross, but anyway, keeping you informed. Monster? Wait, sorry, I'm a little woozy. The deer cat. Oh yeah, I remember. Now, uh, the, the tetrarch's loosest. Okay, sure. Hey, while we have a second, maybe you can fill me in on what that means? What what means? What Seleucus? Oh, wow. What? That's just about the saddest thing I've ever heard said. Yeah, cultural differences, etc., etc. Can you bring me up to speed on the wild beast stalking me? Why does Demac even have a crazy cat monster in his house? Well, it's usually not crazy. Your Lucis takes care of you. Protects you from wild monsters and also dying from like, whatever, you know? I guess mine's not too good at that since I'm still being crushed by any debris. I... not really? Are they all, um, uh, beasts? Well, yeah, what else would they be? 
and they're always this rambunctious? I mean, it seems like it'd be pretty crazy if anyone in your family had their own rip-snorting monster. What's a family? Uh... It's... some adults, and their kids, and one adult, and some kids. Or some kids and their babysitter, and the contribute's absence of their father who's... isn't garbage... Adults? Yeah, why? Adults live on your planet? Yeah, of course. Is that not where you live? Like where you live? For you? For your adults? Sorry, this is somehow the weirdest thing you've said yet. Once you come of age, you get sent off planet for your ordeals. And what's it? Nobody ever comes back, ever? No exceptions. There are no adults on Alternia. So this is Alternia. Making sure. Wonder what point in time this is, though. Huh. I think this might be another wow, I'm an alien conversation. Better save for when you're not pinned under a bunch of rocks. Probably. I'm gonna have to rest in a sec. Okay, well, I'm going to focus on finding the hover pad. I'll let you know when I do. Thanks, Jilly. I'm gonna focus on maintaining consciousness, I think. Good plan. Stay, uh, stay alive, um... Kid power. Oh, jeez, that was awful. Sorry, bye. Okay, then. It's really gross. Maybe you could clean it? Yeah, you definitely traveled to a strange alien world to deep clean the guy's kitchen. That's how you live your life, for sure. Open. Open the refrigerator. Oh, no. <laughs> Are those teeth? Remind yourself not to have any birthdays here. The Crux. Wow, that's a really, really stupid name for a canned beverage. Yet. You take the loosest milk. Maybe this'll calm that beast? Grub sauce, huh? You wonder if everyone on this planet eats nothing but bugs. Or maybe it's just a mech. That would be worse, somehow. Did he just... hurl a handful of eggs into the fridge and leave it like that? Boys, you swear. This pizza must commit all sorts of pizza sins, seeing as the tastes and sensibilities of the human race were not considered during its creation, perhaps completely unworthy of the name pizza. Yeah. Probably has pineapple on it. Could be anything in there. You're not about to open Pandora's doggy bag box to find out. That's... This is cruel aid? Oh, you get it. <laughs> this place is kind of horrible. What? This... This cabinet is empty. Kind of running theme today, and also for most of your life. Oh, mood. Wait. There's a bowl in the back. A clean bowl. Maybe Domek missed it too? You would- it would explain why it's actually clean. Okay, so we're going to give that beast some milk. Well, before I step into the immediate territory of what I know is going to bring on the scene, Looks like Demek is pretty into guns. You resolve to be a little more cautious when solving the goofy paranoid puzzles. Also, if you ever, like, meet him in person. Yeah, and, well, I mean, it's understandable. These are drones. Look. 
What luck, a vet medic. Med kit. <laughs> just like the one you forgot to bring along for your trip. Well, maybe. It could just easily be the same old normal med kit for non-veterinarians. But you're optimistic. Get it. Just think of all the possibilities for alien animal care held in this little kit. You kind of regretted not taking the one from your bed, but this is more than what makes up for that absurd blunder. Why do these all have the same dorky symbol on them? Boys, you swear. It's probably his symbol. Move? You just plunge your hands into the pile of death, huh? You think you'll look around a bit before something here to s for something here to assist you. Yeah, that's understandable. I mean, there's a saw. And guns. A lot of guns. I don't know what that is. That's probably like a robot. But it looks like it should be drums. <laughs> but the way its legs are, it reminds me of a little robot. Yet. Zephyro says this is his, but it looks like Demek. Huh. Has a, it looks like Demeka has other ideas. Oh well, Demek isn't here. Now you can help Zephyros with it and help Zephyros by returning it. Found the hover pad. Hover sled? Whatever it's called. I got it. I can come save you. Excellent. Although I think I'm a little boxed in between the deer cat and the pile of guns and drums, I don't really have a clear path. Oh well, I'll figure it out. Well, the Tetric made some pretty extensive modifications to my hover pad. That might be able to help. Uh, I, uh, yeah, um, this guy doesn't sound like he has a good sense of respect for boundaries or personal property. Oh, he hates it. Tetric Demex says the concept of private property is a vehicle for exploitation and the tool by which the high bloods subjugate the lower class, the low blood upper class, underclass. Uh, well, I'm new here. I can't really comment, I guess. Anyways, I'll be, it will be back in your hands now, so problem solved. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Talk to you soon. Did I just shove that into my pants? I did. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can move now. No, okay. Maybe with this. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Straight into the hole. If Tetrarch Lucis is upset, it might have got hurt. Gox? Oh, got ten. Got ten. That's cute. Anyway, um, I did see a whole lot of blood smeared up to the huge hole in the wall, in the floor. Oh no. Well, it was brown, so it's pretty old? I'm not sure what you mean. The Tetrarch is of bronze blood. So that's either Demek or his loses, and it's recent. Wait. Okay, you've been saying things about blood color a lot, and but I've always been assuming it was a metaphorical thing. Are you saying members of your species have literally different colors of blood? Yeah, I'm rust blood. Bronze, rust, so it's a metal thing? No, it's by color. I'm actually a burgundy blood, but... But maybe this isn't the best time to talk about all this. Yeah, I'll be glad to tell you all about the blood on our planet when I'm not leaking so much of it on the ground. Wow, I really thought I'd be dead by now. Don't worry, I'm coming, as soon as I figure out a way past this wild beast. Maybe I can't hurt him, maybe I can sneak past him, maybe I can give him a treat. Treat. Maybe I can give him a treat? I do have some pet treats. What's a pet? 
Uh, I think it would be a little weird if I described it to you, given the fact that you were... It sounds like raised by one? Eh? Let's move on. Maybe I... Maybe I can sneak past him? Pretty unlikely. Wait, are you the kind of alien that's invisible and silent? No. Yeah, no chance then. Maybe I can outrun him. I'm surprised he's been chasing you. That's really not like him. Well, now that you mention it, he didn't exactly chase me. I think this might all be an, a misunderstanding. He's probably upset. With Demek missing and everything that's happened before you got here. I mean, it can be kind of frustrating. Lucis's, I mean. They mean well and they try to take care of you, but they don't always know what they're doing. It's not always easy to understand them, you know? Yeah, I have someone like that. Oh? Yeah, my babysitter. You'd love her. Her name has an X in it. <laughs> well, okay, if we have an upset beast on our hands, then there's only one thing to do. Yeah? Joey Claire, amateur veterinarian, is going pro. <sighs> BRB. Oh jeez, I had to say that out loud. Here we go, descend. And grab this. I oh, so I'm not picking. I'm, I didn't come in here to pick up the block. Okay then. That, rampage that rampaging deer cat out there is still pretty furious. You've got to find a way to distract it so you can approach it from the other side. Okay then. Lucis milk in the bowl. Put the Lucis milk on the floor. That's a great idea, but wasn't the deer cat actually closer to the other door? The one it chased you through? Okay, so and I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, no. So open. Pretty paranoid of safe to do so. Okay. Hoverpad dumped a hodgepodge of guns, drums, blah 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 into the hole, where it seems to have disintegrated on the force field. Okay then. Can I? I can't go up there. That's not what I meant to look at. Ascend, okay. don't want to tangle with that terrifying gear cat while he's still so terrifying. Maybe if you could be calmed down somehow, or at the very least distracted? Okay, can I put it over here then? There we go. Oh. Now I need to go around. understand why I don't take the block, but okay. Wait, no, I'm not supposed to go here. I'm supposed to help. Make friends with the paw beast. Wait. Is it... 
half paw beast? The deer cat. Upon closer inspection, this animal is clearly hurt. It's time you put the resources you've gathered to their proper use. You would feel better about treating the deer cat if you knew a little more about it than just nothing. Fortunately, you happen to snag some reading material on just that topic. All you need to do is consult it. Okay, move over here. Now consult it. You pick a page at random and accidentally spend a few minutes muscle of these pictorials. You should... That's... There we go. You flip through the pages. Let's see. Oh, here. Oh, here we go. Its um, scientific name is apparently the Cupid's Dated Grimokin. Hmm. The Cupid's Dated Grimokin is a chimeral union of predator and prey with the strengths of both long, retractable claws and razor-sharp teeth alongside a defensive crown of stabbing horns. The speed for lightning quick dashes and endurance to run in tire nights without tiring. The proud, resplendent Cupid State Kremlin prefer to bond with bronze-blooded wrigglers in whom they sense a strong natural aptitude for leadership. Such as aspirations and low bloods are grounds for culling, of course, and the primary cause of death for Cupid's Bates Grimlokin is in the defense of their treacherous wards. Anecdotal accounts suggest that those Cupid Date Grimlokin who manage to survive the death of their wards will typically seek out a similar orphan blood, similar orphan troll, and attempt to bond with them, although the selection process is naturally their, their rather mysterious due to its staggering illega illegality. Illega illegality. I don't know how to say that word. Several anatomical diagrams are included from these. You think you'll be able to treat the deer cat, which is what you're going to continue calling it for now. Cupid's date Grimalkin is a bit of a mouthful. Exactly. The deer cat is in the way, enjoying the loosest milk you placed earlier. The plan is really coming together, except for the part where you almost brush past to get to the kitchen. That would probably startle the heck out of him. How do you know it's a him? Do not assume, young child. I did not mean to click on that one. No, I already read that. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Aww. Aww. Aww, wow, what a cutie. But, what's his name? You could ask Zephyros, you guess, but... You feel like there's something between the two of you now. Something that merits a new one. Good dear, beast friend. <laughs> I love that. Cornibuster? I'm just gonna- Dear... Dad. Dear dad? Cat dad? Dear cat dad? That's a mouthful, but dear cat dad. We're running with it. Dear cat dad. Insufferable zoo smell. Achievement unlocked. Okay. Ride. Ride into the sunset. Heal the deer cat. Be the rider. Achievement unlocked. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm suddenly pretty nervous about how I'm going to get over there. I keep seeing the windows of huge, hulking things flying around outside. The shadows. Yeah, the Xing won't be easy. I'm sorry. Oh, the exiting. Is it... Always this hard to get across the street? No. I mean, not usually. Things got pretty intense around here. How do you mean? Somebody we were supposed to be meeting up with didn't show. Or maybe they did, and it went bad. I really don't know. Demek didn't tell me what was happening. And I screwed everything up. I know it. You should stay there. I don't want you risk getting hurt because of me. 
You were gonna risk getting- you were gonna risk it for me. I'll figure something out. I'll be there. I'll be fine. You were gonna risk it for me. Yeah, that's true, I guess. No guessing necessary. I didn't realize then how brave you were being. Thanks to you. <laughs> Thank you, I mean. <laughs> it means a lot. But... But... No... No buts. Voices. Except yours. Which I'm saving. Are you sure? Extremely. Oh! Ha! <laughs> we'll be there in a flash. Excellent. Wait. We? Yes, we will be riding the Deer Cat Dad. Hey, we're here. Oh jeez, is that you under the rubble? I mean, I assume it is. I hope so. Not that I want you getting crushed under rubble. I hope it didn't happen enough that it mistake you for someone else being crushed under rubble. No, it's me. I was lucky. <laughs> lucky? Left for dead, covered up, but not her bad enough to actually die. Uh, the ones who got cold on sight, or snatch up to be cold later, probably in some sick high blood spectacle, they weren't as lucky as me. <laughs> this is what you're rebelling against? These drone things? No. I mean, not really. The heiress is in charge, and the drones obey her. It's her birth birthright. So why is she doing this? I have no idea. Low bloods get cold for anything and everything or no reason at all. She doesn't have to have one. Or maybe our subgrub being fire makes a really selfie sick selfie background. <laughs> Are you serious? She sounds terrible. Yeah, no kidding. It's like Tetrarch says. The slow, the soft, the unlucky, the troublemakers. Anyone who doesn't jump when the heiress says snaps her webby little fingers, they get rounded up and enslaved or slaughtered. Especially rough spuds. Like me. <laughs> this is terrible. Your neighborhood is on fire. You're buried in rubble. Like you said, this is why we were rebelling. This is so awful. Why hasn't someone already put a stop to this? My subgrub is full of lowbloods. We don't matter. So nobody who does matter cares. All this is... is taking out the garbage. It's always been this way. Nobody does anything about it. Especially not gutterbloods. Like me. We're mostly good at lying down to die. <laughs> but you're rebelling, right? So you're doing something. Oh, that's not me. That's the Tetrarch. Tetrarch Demek is different. <laughs> He's amazing. I wish you could meet him. He always does things. Like, he's in this movie where he's the star. You know? Um... He put the whole thing together. The Rebel Network, the plan, all of it. But without him, we don't have a chance. <sighs> he was the one everyone talked to, and now he's gone. He's gone, and I'm alone. And I'm slow, and soft, and stupid. I'm nothing like... I'm a nothing little gutter blood nobody. No? What? T this Demek guy. He sounds like he stinks. What? <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. 
but you talk about him constantly, and not a single word you've said doesn't make him sound like an awful bully. No! It's, it's not like that at all. He's just looking out for me. Ugh, open your eyes. Why do you think you're really saying these terrible things? It's not like I don't know where you're coming from. Sometimes my paw makes me feel just rotten. And I think that I am the reason he's never around. What's wrong with me that makes my own father not want to see me? But that's a load of garbage. The only person responsible for the terrible things he does is him. You don't understand. Me and Tetrarch have been together since we were grubs. <laughs> we were fated to be morals. You wouldn't get it because you're an alien. I need him. No, you don't. I may know, not know anything about your social customs of this crazy alien planet, but I know what a real friend would never stand by and let you think and say those things about yourself. I don't think you're nothing. I, in fact, I know you're not nothing. You've got plenty of your own bravery. Just because fighting back was his idea doesn't mean it doesn't take courage to see it through. And you were going to risk everything to save me, an alien you'd never even met. That's the bravest thing I've ever heard get tried. Do you really think so? Yeah. I believe in you, Zephyros. Well, you remembered my name this time. <laughs> yes. That's because you made a big impression on me. And we're such good friends, and I'd really be sad if you gave up and died here under these rocks. Oh, man. That actually means a lot to me. I never even dreamed that something like this could happen for someone like me. Zephyros. I'm going to do my absolute best to raise your standard of friendship to the point where having your name remembered is not the nicest thing anyone has ever done for you. I'm not alone after all. <laughs> I've got Joey Alien here to see. And tell me what to do. Well, uh, <laughs> no. We're in this together. Oh, yeah. Right. Thanks, Joey. Now... Let's get you out of here and then figure out what's next. Are you sure you don't know anyone who can help us? I kind of don't even know what kind of help we need, but it seems we do. Well, I do know someone. But they don't exactly live nearby. It'll be a journey. Are you sure they'll help us? Oh yeah, she hates the heiress. And she's our biggest fan. <laughs> That's good enough for me. Now hold still. I'm gonna get you out of here. <laughs>